A little boy's body only recently found in a Denver storage unit. And now records suggest seven-year-old Caden McWilliams may have been dead for months. Mm. Good evening. Thanks for watching Denver 7. I'm Andrew Heal. And I'm Shannon Ogden. And that boy's mother is under arrest, appeared in court today, in fact. Liz Gilardi's on this story for us tonight. Liz, a lot of uncertainties here, including when and how that little boy died. Well, that's for sure. And as we learn more, this story only becomes more disturbing. But police homicide records show this little boy could have been dead since May. They do want to stress that could change as police continue investigating. And we know an investigation is what led police to the storage facility off of Evans just a couple days before Christmas. This storage facility is also very close to the apartment complex where the seven year old boy Caden and his mother used to live. Uh, but the boy's mother, Alicia Panke, appeared in court this afternoon and she is being held in the death investigation of child or in the investigation of child abuse, rather, resulting in death. And we also found out she has another child and will not be allowed to have contact with that child. Now, I did speak with a relative on the phone today who said the family is shocked, but they weren't very close with her. We know this case started unfolding just j days before Christmas. On December 23rd, Denver police received information from Aurora police about a missing seven year old boy. And that same day, the investigation led those uh, police officers to the storage facility where they ultimately found the boy's body. Again, it is unclear exactly how long he had been there or how he died. But we did speak with the former manager of the apartment complex where the mother and the boy lived. And she said the boy's grandmother was concerned for his safety. And then her mom came in and told me all how worried she was about that little boy. And uh, that was what the grandmother had told the former manager of that apartment complex. We did find out also today that the little boy attended Ellis Elementary School. It's unclear when the last time was that he was in school. I'm sure that's something investigators are looking into. And we're also waiting to see the report from the coroner. Reporting live tonight, Liz Gilardi, Denver 7. Oh, what a tragedy. Thank you, Liz.